Have you ever wanted more pleasure in your life? Well, you've come to the right space. Hi, my name is Rachel and I've been an intimacy coach for 10 years, which has inspired me to do this extended series where we'll be talking about ways to incorporate pleasure into your everyday life for yourself, but also in a partnered relationship if you're interested. And uh, what's been really fun is that all year long, we've been doing different themes every month and this is no different. For this month of June, we're going to be doing a little this or that series where we're talking about actual intimacy products that you can incorporate into your life. Uh, and what's really fun additionally about that is we've been talking about some mild products, some wild product, and everything in between. And this is really important because regardless of wherever you are in your intimacy journey, we want you to feel comfortable about that. And then hopefully you'll expand upon it when you're ready. And so today's conversation is definitely going to be from the mild, oh, I'm sorry, I don't know why I said that because it's not, it's from the wild side of things. Okay. So if this is something that does not interest you, please just scroll along and don't report my video because this is for educational purposes only. Okay. So when it comes to uh, talking about two different types of bedroom accessories, uh, the difference here with these is that these are both really going to deliver a fun experience, but they're going to be unlike a lot of other bedroom accessories. Now, here's what I mean by that is that you can see tons of different accessories and tons of different forms and tons of different purposes. Uh, but to me, when we have something that kind of changes it as outside the box, gets us thinking about ways of using this in terms of stimulation, it can up the ante in terms of our investment, right? And there's nothing wrong with any bedroom accessory, but the way you want to think about this is I like to describe is that maybe one of your accessories is like high heels where the other one's kind of like flip flops. They both have purpose, but they're completely different experiences. These two toys are no different. And what's really fun is that uh, even though they're both clitoral vibrators and they could be used for vi vaginal stimulation as well, they have some extra features. And that's what I really want to get to in terms of uh, separating these from other ones uh, in terms of those features, right? So the first one I'm actually going to show you is this one here. Actually, before we do, I'm going to compare that against a regular bedroom accessory, okay? In terms of regular, regular bedroom accessory just means like regular motor, regular feature, regular... Um, material, things like that, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna place this toy in this bottle or this little thing of water. And you can see what's happening, right? There's just some little bits of vibration Reverber reverberating, totally normal. Uh, this one here has a hydro thrill motor. I can tell you what that is later if you're curious, but this is one of my best sellers uh, for the experience because now you can see the water is actually jumping out of the bowl. Oh my Lord, that is something special. Okay, now let me try to get this one going before we run out of time. You know all the suckers that are really, really, really popular, the suction? I think the opposite, blasts of air. So very gentle blasts of air. Look at that. Can you see? Hmm. Need a little in-depth video, you just let me know because I'm running out of time and I'll have to come back later. So thanks so much for being here. Follow along, we have more to come. Bye, have a good day.